how is that going to be to see Kyrie in another uniform and have to be on the other side of that? Different. Um, you know, we all know Kyrie's a gamer. Um, you know, love playing with him. I in practice, hated going against him, so I'm sure it'll be, uh, it'll be no different come Tuesday. But, um, yeah, between the lines, we know it's going to be a fight, especially opening night. Crowd's going to be into it. Um, there'll be a lot of emotions there, but um, the cliche thing is, but true, is that we just need to get a win. It doesn't matter who's out there and, and, and what uniform. Do you think this game matters to the guys in the locker room from that perspective that Kyrie left and now, you, now you're playing him for the first time? Yeah, I think, um, you know, uh, you know, whether it was Ron going back to you know playing in Miami or you know myself going back playing in Minnesota or different guys that we've had come from different places I think you always you know have the acknowledgement that you, you know, kind of protect your guys and um, you know you know that you're on on their side and you're going to fight for them I'm sure it's going to be no different in, in in both locker rooms so you know we expect that but also you know, we got to go out there and win the basketball game. You've been asking for two years of the Warriors are a rivalry, so I guess now I'll ask you if Boston has <laughs> become a rivalry just because Jay and Isaiah here and sure. Kyrie there. Is this yeah, I mean, I think it adds a, a, another layer to that. Um, but Boston has been a team that's continued to get better. Um, and they were there in the Eastern Conference Finals last year against us. So, um, yeah, I think, I don't know if rival is the, uh, you know, the right word, but, um, you know, they're... You know, right up there, if not the uh, the main competitor, with we feel like us in the East, and you know, there's a few other teams in there that we're going to fight with. But you know, Boston uh, seems to, like I mentioned, keep getting better. Do you take anything from training camp of 14, all the new faces, and what you've been through since to try to apply it to this year's group? Either in terms it's a of nice faces. hoodie. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Can you do anything? Eight new guys with this year's. Yeah. Group. It's so much new in 2014. You had strong teams. Uh, have you guys learned anything from that as a group? Had any carryovers? Yeah, I think, uh, at least from what I've seen, the, a lot of guys have been able to um, adapt to, I guess, the, uh, you know, it's top of mind just because of, you know, RJ being gone now, just adapting to the culture and us creating a culture that guys have been able to you know easily integrate into and it wasn't without yeah sure a few growing pains at first but I think um, you know guys love being part of this um, you know, organization basketball community whatever you want to call it but uh, you know it's become a family type atmosphere here and I think that bodes well on and off the floor for us. Yeah, with the shortened short training camp and all the, the new guys, do you get the sense in practice that everybody's kind of on the same page with they, where they need to be offensively, defensively, or do you think there's going to be a learning curve in the first few weeks? Yeah, probably a little bit of both. I mean, we're going to see, um, you know, just because we have such, I mentioned all training camps, such high IQ basketball players that there'll be a lot of good things that will happen for us out there, but um, the more time we play together, the better it's going to look the better it'll be on film, and hopefully it'll translate there to the floor as well. Um, but, yeah, it's not going to come out. I mean, not going to it'll come out and be perfect at the start, but, um, you know, we're going to go out there, play hard, and uh, try to seek to our principles and play our style of ball. But we'll see. I mean, and we know that there'll be a lot of emotions opening night and uh, throughout the first couple weeks of the season, but we'll get better. Have you found things significantly change for you, whether it's where you need to be on the floor, uh, on both ends as you move over to a five spot? Yeah, a little bit. It's been a, a little bit of a change for me. Um, I still find my, myself spacing a little bit, um, you know, wanting to, you know, kind of, uh, you know, roll a little bit more. And on the defensive end, just playing the, uh, you know, the primary big on their team uh, the whole time um, on the defensive end. So it's uh, been a little bit different figuring things out on that end, but that comes with the growth I'm talking about. So uh, we need to do that. and. You know, hopefully, uh, you know, be a machine when you know things start clicking. We uh, have got a chance to ask you about this. What happened to you on Friday? What happened to me on Friday? Yeah, you didn't play. I just said I, you know, I was working out, said I didn't feel right, and I was going out there to play, and um, I don't forget who grabbed me, but uh, they said you're not playing. I just came in and said, "What are you talking about?" He said, "Yeah, go tell Chan." Uh, Ty said, "Go tell Chan," and he's starting. I said, "Well," so I said, "I want to get the." Get my wind up, get my wind going, but he said no. So, that's what, how it was. What did you feel right? Just my body. I just felt sluggish and um, 
you know, that was it. And Ty probably said, you just don't want to play the last preseason game. I was going to use an expletive, but I didn't. <laughs> so when, when Tad told us that you were out for tightness, and we said, well, what's tight? He said, just tightness. Yeah. That's right. Everything was tight. Every, I mean, just, just so tight. tight. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was out for rest in the fifth preseason game. Yeah. Is that like yeah. general soreness? <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's it. Yeah. My 10th year, you could put old on there. Like, what, we did that for uh, Duncan Yeah, a few years back. No, I just... I, I honestly, I was I expected to play, and he just came and grabbed me. What was the scene like in the, in the locker room in the second half of that game? Uh, you know, RJ had to kind of come back to the locker room. There's five or six of you guys back there. Are you guys kind of like you know, shooting the shit, reminiscing? Yeah, and it was you know uh, in vintage RJ fashion. We uh, we were you know shooting the shit and talking and yeah reminiscing to saying how it's it's never going to be the same the the third leg of the podcast and uh, no he was uh you know as a lot of us mentioned on social media yesterday and um you know we've seen a lot of guys come and go but rj was one of the guys that helped create the culture here so um you know he'll always be a cavalier he'll always be a guy that uh you know helped us um you know in that 2016 finals in a big way and yeah, we love our job. We always will. Do you normally get that opportunity? It seems like when guys get traded there, it normally doesn't happen 20 minutes before a game. Right. You have that chance during a pre Like, it just seemed like you had more of a chance to say goodbye to them than maybe you normally would. Yeah, I mean, had we been at home, I mean, you know, his cheap ass didn't need a ride back. I mean, I imagine <laughs> it might have been <laughs> a little different. But, uh, no, it was nice to, uh, you know, have him there for that. And, um, you know, it's never – Never fun to see a guy go like that, but you know, it's part of the game. It's a business, and uh, we know we'll see him down the road. Any little Kev jokes? I'm sure there will be. Yeah, that, I don't know if that dies out, but um, <laughs> you know, I mentioned that was uh, that's part of that culture. So, Kevin, we see uh, Isaiah shooting out here now. Is is how has he been? His demeanor, his confidence in the last few weeks, knowing he's not going to be ready to start the season. Uh, it's always hard. Uh, I've, I think. It's part of sports that you know injuries happen and you know guys not being around the team as much. I mean he's been with us everywhere, but you know, even from a, uh, I guess you know, an emotional standpoint and um, being fully in tune and integrated into everything that we do every single day, it's it's just tough to to be out. But um, no, we still uh, he's still around the team as much as he can be. I just know it's hard for him not being able and, and to go out there and compete because that's just who he is. Not to look too far ahead, but can you anticipate at all how easy or difficult it may be to incorporate a player like him in midseason, hopefully even to get him back? Yeah, I mean, he's a guy that's going um, to create a lot of – I mean, puts points up in bunches, so he's going to create a lot of, um, you know, double teams. And uh, he's a gamer. He's another guy that uh, has always – you know, play with a big chip on his shoulder, and on our team, I think you see that a lot. But guys bring it, um, uh, I guess, in the right way, and uh, we're looking forward to, to having him back and having him healthy. You think he'll be able to integrate easily? Little, you know, I think so. Yeah. yeah, I definitely think so. I mean, I don't know what uh, what or when that's going to be, or what that's going to look like. I should say, um, but uh, yeah, he'll be ready. I know he will be. <laughs>